Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about widgets and ways that we can use that to enhance our data processing, in particular when trying to explore data that has multiple variables that we need to test. Let me show you. So this code might look familiar because we produced this code together where we were looking at the bacteria data from the small mass spectrometer I used in grad school. And I've made a few modifications where we're going to now use these widgets. So first, let me refresh you of what this code is. We've got this mass spec data that has a set of peaks that are likely due to lipids and fatty acid signals. We then use the scipy find peaks method to then annotate these peaks. However, finding the optimal peak conditions can be quite difficult. For instance, if we want to update the prominence to 150 and set the height to 10 and maybe the distance to 40. And this is where widgets come into play because now we can develop ways to expedite this process. Let me show you. If we copy most of this code here and move that down, and we're going to create a new function called peak picking parameter. And we're going to use this function to do a lot of the data processing that we've just done up here, but in a way that we can now automate. And so we're going to first put in our peak picking conditions, and we know we need to pass in h, prominence, and distance. And so let's pass these in as arguments h, prom, distance. And then we will pass the output of this, which is P2, into our plot. And so let's copy these two down as well. We'll tab them in and make our pick. And so right now, this function does exactly what the original code did. If we pass this in, and we use our same conditions, 10, 50, and 40. 150 and 40 h prom dist you see that we get the exact same peaks as before so we haven't really done much but this is where the widgets come into play and so what we want to do now are develop widgets that allow us to quickly move through a number of conditions for the height the prominence and the distance to do that we can use this interact method and this was imported from the ipy widgets here and then under the hood, we're also using this. And so let's do that. And so when we work with interact, we pass in a function. So we'll pass this function in and we'll pass in our conditions and then a tuple for the start conditions. So let's say zero or the low values, the upper values, let's say for height, we'll set as 1000 and then some step that we can set to five in, for instance. We'll do the same thing for prominence, where we'll set our prominence down as low as zero. Let's go up to 1000 and let's set a step value of 100. And then for distance, I want to ignore, in this case, just for a second. So now we have the ability to manipulate this code based on a number of conditions. So we set the height down to zero, the prominence is zero, and we get all of these peaks. And as we adjust the height, you see we can filter some of these away. And now we can also see the difference between height and prominence. And so focus on these peaks here where they are all high enough, but they're not well resolved. And again, as I mentioned in the previous video, prominence is an estimate almost of signal to noise. And so as we tweak this prominence, you see those peaks go away because they are, don't have the proper signal to noise. It could just for many other parameters as well in your functions. And so I want to now show distance. So let's add distance back in here and let's set distance equal to dist there and modify this. And so let's say we want distance equal to none or some other value. In this case, we will pass in a dictionary. So we can say distance dict equals a dictionary. So we'll pass in the string key as none and set this equal to the value of none. And then we could pass in, let's say we want a distance of 25 in this case. And then let's just set that equal to 25. And we'll just set this equal to dist dict. And now we updated the code. So it has this drop down of either a distance of none or a distance of 25. So no peaks can be closer than 25 units close to each other. Um, or we can now modify this, set this to none, and tune these conditions to get peak properties that make sense. 
And so now you can see the value of using widgets to explore your data. I'll show this for other cases and also step back and do an even simpler case here. But I want to show you how we can adapt some of the old code that we've developed and use these widgets to help explore that data. In any case, I see you in the next video. Subscribe to your channel. Peace.